are you in search of a reliable and efficient stock research platform that will save you valuable time and effort? Well, look no further. In this comprehensive review, I'll be diving into Simply Wall Street, examining its user-friendly interface, powerful analytical tools, and, and its unique investment insights. Simply Wall Street is a fintech company aiming to help retail investors identify potential stocks that they might wish to add to their investment portfolios. It was founded by Al Bentley, who continues to be their CEO. He basically wanted to create this platform that allowed retail investors to get digestible stock research and data in a visually appealing format. And if you have a quick look at this screen, you'll see the dashboard, nice and easy to see. So for example, this is how easy it is. You have basically a dashboard, which has got lots of different things on here. So if you've got a portfolio set up in the top left, you can see what is going on at a glance for different markets. You can go and have your own recent notes written in there. You can see what upcoming events are, when are things go next dividend, what have you recently viewed. You get down the middle, some updates on stocks that you are potentially having a look at. You've then got some of the key investment themes, giving you ideas to go away and have some further, do some further due diligence and have a look and see where you potentially want to put your money. You can then see what is going on in the UK market, or you might want to go and have a look at the US, see where the top gainers are, where the top losers are, different types periods, lots of information right at your fingertips just on this dashboard. You can also go and see where the top industries, where the worst industries are in different countries and then go and see international markets, who's been doing well. Zimbabwe is up 34.5% over the last seven days. Or what you can do is you can go and have a look up on the filters at the top you can go and have a look and see what is going on in different markets so in the gb market you may wish to go and have a look at what is going on in sectors and industries and you might want to delve down into what is going on in the oil and gas industry and that gives you a quick insight using visuals what is going on within that market and some of those industry trends. You can also go and have a look at different research that they've done and you can go and have a look and see is there something that is of interest to you in here on these quick insights. You can also build a watch list which allows you to go and have a look at say for example I've built a monthly dividend one which looks at what is going on with some of those dividends. You can also build a portfolio. This is an old one that I have, but on this portfolio, it gives you a visualization of what is going on within each of the different stocks within your portfolio. And what I do like is the snowflakes. So the snowflakes look at value, future growth, how things, how the company has done in the past, what its health is looking like and what its dividend and measuring that across a number of different metrics which we will show you in a few minutes. So as I say Simply Wall Street really simple and easy to use quick summaries for different stocks that you may wish to invest into and it really is a useful tool in your stock research arsenal to go away narrow down what it is you might want to then go and do a bit of a deeper dive into while they provide this in a visual format there is still nothing better than getting into some balance sheet but at least this allows you to do that higher level initial look at a stock and decide is it something you want to spend a little bit more time getting into the detail if you like what you've seen so far i'd love it if you could leave a like and think of subscribing it all helps with small channels like mine grow and get more information out to like-minded people um, i also have a link down below to simply wall street if you want to go and have a look at that um, i get a small kickback from that but if you want to go and check it out and see what you think of it there are a number of different pricing plans and they offer different things obviously you have that free option you could go and have a look at that and see whether that is enough just to get some of those global market uh, reviews 
you can do five companies per month and then you can set up a portfolio with five holdings and one watch list. You could go and look at the one that I'm on, which is the premium at eight pounds a month or the unlimited. And you can just go away, have a look and see whether or not which one suits you best for your needs. Would I recommend it? Yeah, I use this on a daily basis. I do use it and mix and match with other stock research platforms, but this is one of my go-tos. I just like the way that everything is visual and what we'll do is we'll go in and have a quick look, but don't take my word for it. Go have a look on Trustpilot and they have uh, over 4,200 reviews on there and that's coming out at a 4.5 and that actually, again, some of its other competitors is stacking up very well as is the price of this platform um, coming in much lower than the paid uh, setups on both the Motley Fool and things like Seeking Alpha. Let's do a quick bit on pros and cons. There is a free basic plan for users to go and, go and dip their toe, see whether or not they like it. It does give great market coverage. It has lots of different markets that it covers. It has the States, Australia, UK, Canada, India, China, you name it, they are basically on here. So you can invest and do market research into a large number of countries. Um, as you can see, great visualizations on different products. Detailed fundamental analysis, you'll see that in a second when we go into an individual stock and have a quick look at that. It is really user friendly. It is quite intuitive how to use it. And you do get some great reports from people like Richard Bowman. Easy to digest uh, market report and market insights. There are obviously some cons. Um, limited access to funds, so things like mutual and ETFs. You don't get those on here. This is looking at over 150 thousand companies from across the world. Um, it limits what manipulation you can make of the actual data that you get your hands on. And there is a heavy dependence on visualization. So if you want to be delving massively into spreadsheets, potentially not the place that you want to be doing that, but you might do your first scan using this tool. Um, and the free version obviously has some of its limitations. If you only have five stocks within uh, your portfolio, that's fine. But if you have more than that, you might be struggling a little bit. So as we've said, lots of different features on here. You've got stock research reports like this one. Um, you have market updates. You can create watch lists. You can build your own portfolio tracker. And you've got that screener in there as well. So if we want to go and have a look at GSK, we just type it into the search bar click on that and you come in you've got this snowflake analysis and this will allow you to evaluate stocks on a scale of zero to six we'll see that in a second when we when we go into a little bit more detail but it allows you to look at things like the critical health of the company does it pay a dividend what's its value looking at and looking at potential future growth and how it has performed in the past you on this first page will get a quick stock overview. You can see a bit more on what the company is about. You can see where some of the rewards are potentially from invest in the GSK and then looking at some of the risk analysis that uh, Simply Wall Street has done. You've got the ability to add in some notes in there and also you get to see what some of the competitors for this are looking at. You also have the ability um, when you're on the desktop version to go in and compare against somebody else. So let's chuck AstraZeneca up against it and then you can just side by side look at these two companies and go in and have a look and see is either of these something that you want to do a bit more research into. Going back into GSK what we see down the side is there are seven different areas that Simply Wall Street look at and go into detail about each of the companies that they have. So you will manage to get to see still on this uh, overview page some of the price history and performance of the stock some of the news that there is in there the shareholder returns volatility and then a little bit more about the company and some of the fundamentals in there you can view some of
of this without having to go into any great detail but once we start getting into looking at some of the valuation stock etc you have to use one of your full report slots you can do five of these on the basic plan which you pay nothing for but if you want to go into a bit more detail um, you need to do the premium and then you can look at 30 different companies within a month each of the criteria within the snowflake you have six things that we score against so for this valuation for gsk everything looking good apart from the analyst forecast you get things like Fair value, so based on fair value being 37.37, currently at 15.76, showing that using simply Wall Street's DCF approach, it is 56% undervalued. As I said, they've used some form of DCF, but it varies depending on the, the companies that they are talking about. Get to see things like the PE ratio, the how it compares to others within its sector, historical price to earnings ratios. You then go into the future value that will give you sort of the earnings growth rate and EPS growth rate. You'll see that this one isn't looking quite as rosy as the valuation did um, with three of the six um, showing some form of potential risk. But what you can do is hover over that and it will tell you what that risk actually is. Annual earnings growth is 5.2. Industry much higher than that, as is the market. You can go in, have a look at past performance as well it shows you once again the earnings growth rate and eps growth rate you get this interesting graphic that shows you how the commercial operations are broken down where revenues coming from what's gross profit what is cost of sales etc and um, some of these are much more complex than the one that you are seeing on gsk then go into looking at the financial health and how the balance sheet's actually looking so we have quite a high debt equity something that I would want to be going and having a look at go and look at some of the more detailed balance sheets and see what is actually causing that you do get some description of that but I would still go away and do some due diligence and there will be flags in here that will prompt you to go mm, don't want to even touch this or spend any time going into any more detail but what you can do is use this as your initial filter tell you what the dividend yield is and specifically what the payout ratio is going to be under management will sort of tell you who chief executive is looking at ceos looking at how long the ceo has been in place how long the management team has been there and the average and that sort of helps you with that do you have confidence in the management team that that is running your company that you're looking at it will also show you what the leadership compensation is all around and we'll also go into some of the purchases that have been made by uh, insiders within the company there's no doubt that looking at lots of balance sheets can be a real put off i quite like the way that this is nice and visual i do find this quite an easy platform to use lots of information in here um, you can delve and go into as much detail as you want i like the way that everything is quite visual and sort of jumps out and goes there's an issue here that you might want to go and have a look at what i also like on this as opposed to seeking alpha is that i've got access to worldwide not just us and canadian stocks which was a problem when i've used uh, seeking alpha in the past i do like seeking alpha's platform and the detail that it goes into but it is only focused on those two markets i think worthwhile going and having a quick look at the free version but if you want to Click on the link down below and that will take you off. And I would love to hear whether you use uh, Simply Wall Street and whether or not there are some features in there that you just cannot do without. Why don't you go and look at this video where I've actually used Simply Wall Street to do um, some of the research to pitch uh, two companies against each other. Thanks very much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.